Hey guys, what's up? It's Bree. Thank you so much for tuning in to my channel today. So I'm going to be showing you guys how I do my everyday look. This is not really a tutorial. It's kind of like a get ready with me. But I really like the way my makeup came out. I did change a little of my techniques. Just, you know, just a little bit. I'm going to be showing you guys like an upgraded get ready with me. So if you guys are interested in seeing this look here, go ahead and continue to watch. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Bree. <laughs> and today I'm going to be doing a little get ready with me. I haven't recorded a makeup tutorial in so long. This is not going to be a tutorial. This is just going to be a get ready with me, guys. I don't really care for doing tutorials because I usually do the same look. But right now I'm just more um, priming my skin. This is the e.l.f. Putty putty primer so yeah that's what I'm doing right now I love this primer it's very you know it helps smooth my pores because lately I've been just having a lot of texture on my skin for some reason it's been very very textured so yeah I'm just gonna prime that and I'm gonna let that sit and do what it do you can find this product at Ulta. It's very affordable. I think it's like $6. It is a dupe for the Tasha um, primer. This one is like so expensive. That one is super, super cheap. So, today I'm going to just do my little go-to eye because that's what I like. I'm using my Kim Kardashian palette. Not Kim Kardashian, but KK Beauty palette. And I'm just using this little warm brown color right there but yeah today I decided just to do my makeup on camera I don't usually do makeup tutorials no more like I used to because my makeup is very very simple nowadays <laughs> so yeah but my day is pretty busy today not too busy but I have a few clients and then I want to film some YouTube videos. Um, if you guys are interested in this unit, um, it's probably already posted on my page. If not, it'll be posted really, really soon. I really like this unit. But how are you guys? How are you guys? I'm okay. I feel good today. I got up really, really early today because I was like, you know what? I need to get start getting up early. I don't need to wait till 9.30 to get up. So I got up at like 6 something today. When my husband left for work, I just stayed up. I don't know. I think he woke me up for something and it just, I was like, you know what? I like this time of the day. I'm going to just stay up. I'm going to just go down. I'm going in between these colors here. Boom, 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 boom. And I'm just putting it in my crease. Because you guys know me. I love a very, very, very simple eye. Very simple eye. I like to focus more on my skincare. Oh my gosh, I need to get my nails done. I'm going to take this set off and get my real nails cut now, y'all. Do you guys know, like, when your nails grow out and your real nails are growing out, your nails are, like, so brown? I hate the look of that. So, I'm going to just take these off and go get my nails done. A fresh set because I don't like that. So, yeah, I'm just adding a little shadow like that. Brown. I'm going to take these two colors right here and mix the deep brown and the warm brown and I'm gonna put it on the lid but um yeah I've been pretty good I've been really really good I, my anxiety been really good I just been chilling lately just going with the flow um this corona junk I thought it would be over by now I thought I'd be going on a trip by now but <sighs> The struggle is real, girl. The struggle is real. I'm going to use my Extreme Long Lasting Eyeliner by Essence. I think that's how you pronounce it. You can get it from Ulta too. It's very affordable. I think this is like 3 to $4. It's very affordable, but this is my favorite liner. It does not move in my waterline. It don't irritate my eyes. I just love it. I've been doing... 
I've been doing really simple makeup lately, you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and throw my lashes on. Where did I get these lashes from? I think I got these lashes from AliExpress a minute ago so i'm gonna just go ahead and throw them on you guys know i like a big lash so most likely my lash is gonna be dramatic <laughs> but that's just what i like that's just my vibe simple oh my gosh i hate when my nose itch simple makeup big lashes and like really nice base like foundation and stuff that's what i focus more on but um yeah let me glue my lashes on find this glue i'll be right back okay so today i'm gonna use my anastasia foundation i haven't used this in so long y'all probably ooh, since it came out i probably used it once and i haven't used it i don't know why i just have so many foundations so i'm gonna use it i don't even remember if it is a dewy finish or a, um a matte finish hopefully it's like satin I like my foundations to be satin, like a satin finish. I don't like it to be too matte because when it's too matte, it shows too much of my texture, 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 texture. It shows too much, y'all. And um, I don't like that. And I need to clean my makeup brushes. Lately, I've been feeling like my makeup just hasn't been coming out flawless like it used to. I don't know. So that's why I'm just switching up. Maybe because I need to clean my makeup brushes. But I just want to switch up the foundation today. Just switch up my products. Because I kind of grab for the same products. I have so much makeup. But I just grab for the same products. So I want to just like grab for new products. Like, do you guys, how often do you guys make it, wash your makeup brushes? I have so many makeup brushes. So I don't wash them a lot. <laughs> But I need to. That's probably why my face been breaking out lately. So hopefully this dry downs a little bit. Because it has like a dew on it. I'm not going to use a lot of foundation. This lash is just. Because I use a lot of concealer, so I don't use a lot of foundation. Because, like I said, I use, a, I use a lot of concealer, girl. So, I'm going to use my Too Faced concealers. Should I switch up my concealers? I've been using these like crazy lately. I love these concealers. So, I'm going to use, um, this color is called Butterscotch. I like to use this one first. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to wash my beauty blender because when your beauty blender dirty, I feel like your makeup don't come out as flawless. So, yeah. For me, you guys already know, I use a lot of concealer, but not that much foundation. I don't know. I like a really full coverage concealer. Foundation can't don't have to be super full coverage. So... I'm gonna let this dry up a little bit and then I'm gonna go wash my beauty blender because it it's on a little cute girl. So let me go get this together. I'm gonna go ahead and blend this in. It did dry down a little bit, so it's nice and tacky, so it's gonna be like more full coverage. gonna hold my mirror right here so I can see what I'm doing. The mirror is so far away from me. And I want to take a few pictures for Instagram today. So I want my makeup to look flawless because I don't want to have to edit so much of my picture. You know what I mean? I gotta take a picture for this hair, this hair company anyway, so. Yup. Influencer work. Just taking my time blending out my concealer I 
I didn't used to do that. I just take my bronzer or my powder contour, but I really like how my face look when I cream contour. I like how I look in the pictures. So yeah. And by, by you letting it get like kind of dry, like tacky a little bit, it's more like full coverage. So I like to lift my face. So I'm going to go up instead of like out. I used to just go out and I felt like my face looked more wider. So now I go upwards like that. So I can like snatch my face. It's just the small things that you could do to your makeup and it'll just make your makeup look different. Put a little bit on my chin. Flip the beauty blender over. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and set my under eye. I think I'm gonna use my Chanel. I haven't used her in so long. I've been using my Sasha, so I'm gonna use the Chanel today. I love this powder. I love it, but sometimes I just take a break and switch things up, but this one is not as drying as the Sasha. I feel like the Sasha is really drying. I do want to try out the um, Laura Mercier new honey translucent powder, but I feel like Chanel, oh my gosh, this Chanel powder, if you don't have it, girl, what are you doing? It's the best setting powder in the world period and it's a neutral color it's not as yellow as i typical typically go for but i do like it because it's not white it's kind of like beige but it works and it leaves you looking so flawless and you can like just pile up okay oh see i just kind of gave my skin more of an airbrush look I love that. It just sits so well. I'm trying to switch up my products. I don't want to use the same stuff. I'm going to take this Morphe bronzer and it's called Trailblazer. Hopefully it works for my complexion. And bronze up this face a little bit more. I love bronzer and concealer like Girl, that's all I need. Bronzer, concealer, and lashes. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to take this bronzer and bronze up my nose a little bit so everything can like flow together. And I always go up in my eyebrow. This area is very important to go inside. Like... When you're doing your nose contour, make sure you're going up in this area right here. You need that shadow to look. I don't know. I just really like that area right here to be darkened. Just make your makeup look more professional. Okay. Ooh, come through flawless. Come through. So now I'm going to go ahead and dust, like kind of pat this powder in. I'm going to let it sit under my eyes a little longer and we're going to add a blush today. You guys know I wasn't really a blush girl, but lately I've been a blush girl. I really like a nice orangey blush now. I don't know what got into me because I never used to like a blush but nowadays I just love a nice orangey blush I just love and I like it right underneath my highlighter I think I've seen Kylie Car Kylie um, makeup artist do her makeup like that and I'm like ooh I kind of like that look it's really baby dollish <laughs> so you gotta be into that type of stuff so now I'm gonna dust 
this powder off from underneath the eye. It looks amazing. I love when the under eye look good, girl. You guys know I have to do my bottom lashes. I'm nothing without my bottom lashes. Like, I don't even feel like my makeup looks right <laughs> until I do my bottom lashes. Cause my top lashes is always so dramatic that I feel like it needs some type of balance at the bottom. So, I wanna sit here for five minutes, do my um, bottom lashes. I'm thinking about, should I spray my face? Yeah, I'm gonna spray my face. Um, let's use some Morphe today. Just a little bit. Okay, so now, I'm gonna do my bottom eyelashes. I'll be right back. I'm gonna take my lip gloss from NYX. What color is this, y'all? I can't even see. But it's like this nudie color. I always use this. I like it. And I just like my eye, my I mean my lips with like a burgundy and a brown. Okay guys, so I wanna try out this new product. You guys know I have hyperpigmentation on my neck and I wanted to try out a product. This is the KK Beauty, what is it called? Skin Perfecting Body Foundation. So I picked this up, it comes in a big container like that. I picked this up just to try it out on my neck. Cause I hate that my, I don't know, I've been lightening it up a little bit, but I don't know, I just feel like I needed something to balance it out. Of course, you can use foundation, uh, but I just wanted to see if this would help. I just wanted to see if this would help out more. So I'm just gonna take a little bit and put it around my neck because the way she advertised it, it was like super full coverage. So it's okay. Ooh, it's covering up my tattoo, you guys. I'm not even trying to cover up my tattoo. But I want to see how it dries. This color I got was in tan. Oh, see, that looks so much better. So you guys see the difference? I just want to know how it dries because I don't want it to be all over my clothes. That's the thing. But I love the coverage of it. Because sometimes, no matter how much foundation I put on my neck, it still look dark. Because the foundation never thick enough. It's never full coverage enough to cover the pigmentation in my neck. Because this is such a dark color. So, I figured this would help. I wonder what it cover up this. I don't know if I want to cover up that. I don't know if I have to set this or I can just let it go, but it covers up my neck perfect and this shade is perfect. Okay, so I have this Stila. This is a cream bronzer and it's called Bronze and I got it from TJ Maxx for like $12. Um, I'm thinking I'm gonna take this small brush and put it down the bridge of my nose. Well, I'll take my finger. I like it because it's not powdery, it's more like creamy. And it's like more of a soft finish. I hate like a harsh blush. I mean, I hate like a hard, um, so here is the makeup tutorial. Here is the look. Here's my new little look I be doing now. I probably will add a little bit more blush now that I see what everything is looking like. I'm going to add a little bit more blush because I've been loving blush lately. It just looks so girly when you have blush on. You look just so like girly. I am feeling this look, you guys. I'm so glad I decided. I was like this close. I wasn't going to record, but I was like, you know what? I want to record today um, a makeup tutorial because it's been so long. So here's my new everyday type of look. Um, You can wear this out. Well, this is just my look in general. This is just the way I like to wear my makeup now. 
so thank you guys so much for watching i love you and i'll talk to you in another video bye guys